Good morning, Dogs fans. It's our 2022 photo day here at the club. We've got a number of a number of lads who've, who've turned it on today, some who haven't, or some who've tried to and failed miserably. So we might as well quick walk around and um, chat to a few blokes and uh, get some insight for you. Make some make some room, boys. Right, here we go. We got, we got two of the two of the young boys, two fresh faces to the Bulldogs. Um, both your your first photo days here at the club. We'll start with Arthur Jones, mate. How are you feeling um, rolling into this one? Um, no, nah, yeah, it's feeling good. Uh, it's, I feel like a bag of school to be honest. <laughs> like, ooh, smile, put on the uniform, look straight, look posh. But um, yeah, should be good. Charlie, mate, same for you. A bit older, so you probably. You probably know your way around the camera a little bit better maybe than, than Arthur. You got a camera in your hand actually, so it shows you got an appetite for taking photos, but what about um, having them taken of you, mate? Absolutely, do enjoy taking photos. Um, got a, I was actually considering bringing my film camera in here, yes. but uh, Nate had one, so I'll, I'll take a few film film photos for for the boys of all the little behind the scenes sort of stuff, but I eh, don't mind a photo taken too. Got your chain on, ready to rock and roll. How are you feeling about today's, today's photo day? Um, well, considering I missed it last year, it's, uh, it's a big day for me. So here on time, here probably two hours early, which is good. Um, yeah, not not doing that again because that, that scarred me and routed me for training. So looking for a bounce back. Who pretends like not to care, but ultimately really does about how it looks? I reckon Baz. He sort of rolls in a bit scruffy in that, but I feel like deep down it's, it's a big day for him. You know, his brand, his mullet. It's a huge day for Barry. It is. It's big for his brand. He does a lot of those little side checks, you know, and you're walking past the mirrors and you're not looking, but you are a little side eye. Maybe even a couple of shoulder raises before he gets out here. <laughs> hey, big boy, old bones. How you going, brother? Sorry, mate. <laughs> Bit of a vet now of, of photo day. It's definitely not your first one. Um, hopefully not your last, is what everyone's yeah. everyone's hoping. But um, over the journey, what have you learnt um, in your experiences so far? Ooh. Um, need some one-liners because for the downtime between photos, it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Actually, you could work on that a little bit. You? <laughs> Thank you. I love feedback. That's great. Uh, and don't don't think it's a big deal because a lot of boys are doing things to their hair that they haven't done before, um, touching them up. Who have you seen who's made a day before haircut mistake so far and looks unhappy with it? I just saw Croz in the bathroom and he's he's paying a lot of attention. That's all I'm saying. Doc, a bit more of a vet now. You probably moved into. You probably can't remember your first one, but what have you learnt over the journey? I've learnt that sitting on the front on the floor is the worst. The back, my, I can't handle it, especially as I'm getting older. So standing, yep. I'm happy with, but if you can get a seat middle row, then you know you've made it. A little new segment we got rolling here called Overrated, Underrated. First one is, something we're trying to flag here, is, is being able to wear a free dress before a game. Do you reckon that's, what do you reckon that is? Yeah, underrated. Um, it definitely should happen. So hopefully we get that done and uh, the boys can, uh, I guess, express themselves through fashion. Overrated. Puts pressure on blokes like me who don't care. Yeah. Controversial one, Bevo's handlebars that he's running at the minute. I like it. Yep. Um, underrated? I'm not sure I'm in the best 22 at the moment. So I, like, <laughs> I like it, Bev, I like it. Uh, I think overrated. I think um, he's, Bevo's a pretty good looking man, so the handlebars ruined that for him. So yeah, I think he should shave that off. There you go, there you go. Other than um, taking big marks, taking big photos, um, is part of Naughty's repertoire. Mate, how are you feeling? Before this one? Uh, yeah, pretty nervous. Um, obviously, it's a big day. Now, you were smart because I was in there with you the other week, but you got a, a haircut a week out, knowing fully that today was on. That means you've been around the block a few times. There's been a few blo blokes here who made the mistake of getting a haircut yesterday, the day before. It's looking real fresh. Yeah, I think Dom's, Dom's the one. Um, he was rolling with the mullet all pre season, and then come photo day, he's just crumbled and he's, he's gone back to the short back. He's gone back to school. He's gone back to the school haircut. Can't handle it. You know, like I was, I had him under my wing, another, another mullet at the club, but um, he's just gone and dogged. He lost it. He crumbled. Yeah, can't handle the smoke, mate. Who's made the cardinal sin of getting a haircut the day before? At and not looking too happy with it. Oh, I think we all know Don Bedendo. He's uh, he's had a high haircut, high fade, you'd probably call it. It's probably a little bit too high for my liking and his own. So, um, yeah, you'll definitely see that rolling around somewhere. Dommy! <laughs> hey, brother. You do appreciate this day. Like, you're one that probably, you know, circles it on the calendar. It's yeah. in there. You know when it is. Yeah, well, um, I got the haircut yesterday, so... And, um, yeah, how you feeling? There's been a few... A few have mentioned you as the probably the late... Um, 
late decision making, getting yeah. the chop the day before. Why you, you had a good setup going? You just felt like you, you wanted to make a, a big impression and statement today. Yeah, exactly. Um, I went there and I asked for the Marcus Bontem Pally, and they gave me this. So I feel like I've been. Which photo? That? That's a, a photo bit. from maybe 2014, man. Where is that? Just yeah. cuts. Oh, that's where I used to get my hair cut there back then. Now you have your own barber. <laughs> Resident barber in the house. You've been doing a few cuts out of here, actually. Yeah, there's, there's a club charge any rental fees or anything <laughs> yet. <laughs> for power, surely they charge your rates or bills. Well, you, you're here after normally, <laughs> after everyone's left. Nah, nah, but have you have you actually got into a couple in the last sort of few days in preparation for today? Yeah, I had a few come in yesterday, uh, Bailey Williams and Charlie Parker. So if you have a look at them, they're looking uh, quite sharp. In you might have to get a little 360 yeah, like around. around. You've got your own page or Instagram yeah. or TikTok or something. Do you, want it, do you want to give, I don't know what it is. <laughs> do you, I don't think so. you got to earn the follow. Oh, what do I have to do to earn the follow? I won't let you <laughs> Tobias Tribbs. Uh, free haircuts, is that right? Uh, yeah, it depends who you are. <laughs> right, oh, there you have it, Dogs fans, as Chris Bell would say. Um, that's some of the some of the lads today at Team Photo Day. Plenty of excitement. Um, not long before we play round one, so look forward to, to seeing you against the D's uh, on Wednesday night.